Hey everyone, um, give me a second. I just got a few minutes to stream today, talk about um, the new fixture, answer any questions you guys have. Yeah, give me a second. Let me set this up, Aquarium Activist. Yeah, give me a second. Let me let me configure. All right. All right, everyone. Yo, what's up? Um, yeah, so, hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, hits up, Philip. Let me, let me broadcast this light. Let me know if you guys are seeing it. There's a link who anyone wants to come in. So yeah, so I finally got that light up. I am very excited about it. Yeah, very excited about it. Um, my first time using T5s. So, you know, um, I'm really, I'm really surprised about the spread. Like if you think LEDs had spread, then yeah, T fives because my while it's not that harsh light, um, you know, sitting from my couch and looking at it, I am seeing like it's illuminating pretty much my entire living room. But it's not that harsh LED light that when you look at it, you know, it 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 hurts your eyes. It's really not that harsh. It's a nice diffused light, so I really do like it. Um, my bulb combo, I'm using one blue plus. One aqua blue special. <laughs> yeah, the aqua blue special is really white. Uh, one, one blue plus, one aqua blue special. Um, I broke another blue plus because when I, I first bought two blue plus, two aqua blue special, and I met up with Billy Pipes yesterday. And, um, you know, he gave me some coral plus. And yesterday while I was changing the bulbs, I broke one. <laughs> so right now I'm using two... Um, Coral Plus in the front, one Blue Plus, one Aqua Blue Special in the back. So I have to order some new bulbs. I think I want to use two Blue Plus. I saw Billy's tank yesterday on all T5s, and I like the color that he uses. So I'm going to use two Blue Plus, um, one Coral Plus, and one Blue Actinic. So, so yeah, so I really like how it's looking. Hey, exclusive. Yeah, I really like how this light is looking. Um, yeah, I really do like how this light is looking. Um, nice <laughs> illumination throughout the tank. Hey, Pelfrey, what's up? Um, yeah, Pelfrey, I really like this fixture. Um, it's not. Listen, if you're looking, if you're if you're expecting like you know, um, I've seen the ATI hybrid in person. So if you're if you're, hey, uh -huh. what's up, man? How you uh -huh. doing? That six um, aquarium activist just joined in. But yeah. If you're expecting like a you know a high quality fixture, it's good quality, I, I don't know. I think it's okay. I, I think it's okay. It's okay. You have to be careful with it. It's not gonna break easy, but I think it's okay. You just gotta be it it took I'm not a very handy person, so it took me a while to get it balanced and sort of sort out some of the kinks. Um changing bulb was a chore. I think it's a two person job. I'm gonna need my wife's help. 
swapping out bulbs uh, because like I said yesterday, I broke one of the lights and some dust <laughs> fell in the tank. So, you know, I was changing carbon, trying to vacuum my sand bed to get out the little glass particles. So um, right now I have it nine inches, but I think I'm going to lower it to about six or seven inches, seven inches above the water, above the water line. Eight to 10 Pelfrey. Um, yeah, mine is about, I think nine. I measured mine was about nine. And I think, like I said, this tank is right beside my TV. It's in my living room, right beside my TV. So I'll go a little bit closer to, you know, to, 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 to prevent light spillage. I also got some ideas. I watched Bull Creek Supply videos Friday and um, the Orphic Atlantic. And um, one thing that Ryan from BRS pointed out that there's a little drop piece of acrylic that sort of shields the light. So I think I might make something like a little skirt. You know, Billy Pipes gave me that idea. I might, I might make a little skirt that kind of keeps, you know, something that just drops down maybe two or three inches. It just keeps the light, you know, when you're sitting down, not looking at it. I took off the Z4s, so now I'm using two Kessels. So I got my Kessel Shimmer back, and I love it. So what you're seeing now is um, the one Blue Plus, one Aqua Blue Special, two Coral Plus, and the Kessels are on full blue. So I'm running the Kessel at 70%, and I measured par before I took the Radions out, and right now I'm matching the previous par I had. So, yeah, I really like the T5. The tank, everywhere in the tank is illuminated. I, the nice diffuse light, and I still get that little Kessel shimmer. Um, I still got to, you know, you see the wires behind. The wire management on this is, that's another thing that is not very good. They could have done a better job of it. Um, but I, I understand why. Literally, you get, you get two separate, exactly the same G, um, um, T5 fixtures, and you just kind of, they just kind of attach them together with a bracket. So one card comes out of the left, one out of the right. So you have to figure out how to you know, route them to make it look neat. Um, the last part of this project is going to be the Kessels don't have good moonlight. So I bought the, uh, the Lunar Sim module, the Apex Lunar Sim module, so I'll use that for moonlights. So uh, I'm going to take some questions. Hey, Aquarium Activist, how you doing? Yo, I'm doing okay. Oh, I'm trying to, I don't know what I'm going to be uh, doing because I think I'm going to be setting up a little, like, uh, three uh, cylinder aquariums, the Innovative Marine Atoll, and I think uh, in one of them I want to have an anglerfish, a small one, but I don't know, I got to see it's like i want to have a, a, a sargassum angler because they're they don't grow too big around the same size as a warty and i want to have something that looks cool like natural i can because this place uh, sells sargassum weed and they live in sargassum so i want to try that out and see how well that goes i might get a pair or something but they sell like a this like place called Florida Pets. They sell a lot of stuff that uh, normally places won't sell, like um, sea grasses. So they got like manatee grass, so shoal grass, turtle grass, paddle grass, star grass. Uh, they they're selling a lot of things. They got macroalgae and stuff. So I thought you were doing a seventy-five. So you're gonna do a seventy-five. Yeah. And a, and a, um, and the 75 a has to be later because I need a lot of help from my dad for that. And my dad says that it has to be later because of, uh, uh, he can't, uh, he has to work a lot so then he can't do it a lot. And then I need to get the tank first inside because it's in the garage right now. And then I need to get a light fixture, obviously. So, and then, uh, and then. I need to get pumps. I need to build a sump. I want to do a Neptune system. Or try one, at least. So. Uh, I, I, 
It depends. All right. Um, they have a couple of different versions. There's a junior, which I think only, only, you know what? I think that you see a lot of them for sale. So as long as you don't want the newest one, I think you can buy, you know, buy like the brain and get a single ED8 and then sort of add to it over time as you have money. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking. And then also, um, uh, they they have like this one called the classic, which is basically it's a oh, bigger than it's a little bigger than the junior, and it's not as high tech as the newest one. The newest one's crazy. I think it's like nine hundred dollars. So let's see, uh, Neptune, Neptune eight. Um, while you look that up, let me answer a few questions from the chat. Um, yeah. Corey Ramsey. It's nine inches above the water line, and um, I'm using one blue plus, one aqua blue special. I do not recommend that aqua blue. That aqua blue special is white. I mean, a, a, yeah. I mean, yeah. I was told that it would. It, it's extremely white, but I had already ordered it, so there's nothing I could have done. So there's a blue plus, an aqua blue special, and two coral plus. Uh, my LFS doesn't have any T5 bulbs in stock. So I am going to have to do with this combination for, you know, at least until Wednesday, Thursday, I could order something from BRS. So it's going to be one, I'm going to go with two blue plus on the outside, one coral plus on the inside, and one probably actinic. Um, I saw Billy Pipes yesterday, and that's the combination he had. And I like the color he had. So that's the final combination I think I'm going to go with. Um, yeah, Dave, new lights. I don't know, an entire Neptune setup is like $3,000, $4,000. Everything they sell is crazy. I don't know, because I might start out with like a lower module and then, you know, upgrade later on. Cause like the junior is two forty, then the classic, the classic is recommended for like lab systems. So, um, I I would not go with the junior, because okay. junior you can only add I think four modules to it. So mm -hmm. in terms of Neptune Apex, I would not go with the junior. Um, if you can get somebody who's selling a classic used, I would go that route, because um you know let's say. You know, you have the classic and you add like um, an EB8 to it or an EB4. It comes when you buy the when you buy the junior, it comes with an EB4. That's one. So then let's say you add an ATO to it and you add a couple of other modules. You'll, you know, knowing you, you probably want to upgrade or add a bunch of things to it over time. Yeah, okay. So yeah. I just popped on eBay real quick. They're selling, someone's doing a classic. Uh, and it's at 315 they're bidding right now and then someone's doing another classic for like 480 490 yeah, check check reef check reef to reef or reef central and um, see if there's someone in your area selling it um, you know and try to meet up with them in person um, yeah try reef to reef and see if there's anyone in the DMV area that's willing to you know meet up and and um, and get you an Apex. That's what I recommend. Okay. Because, let's see. Boop, 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 boop. What is Reef saying? Go for three purple plus, three blue plus, one purple plus. You will love the color. Um, you know what, Woody? I, I don't know what I'm going to like yet. I just like Billy's setup, so that's what I was going to copy. But you know what I'll do? I will add a purple plus to, you know, the order I'm going to get from BRS. And when it comes, I'll see. Um, so yeah, so I I don't know. I just like what Billy was doing, but you know, um, so I, yeah, I'll do a blue. I'll add a purple plus, and when it comes, I'll put it on. See what happens. Um, if they would have fit. So the thing about it is, Lewis, it will fit because the brackets. Hang on a second. Let me go in front of it. So Lewis, um, these you just simply get some little universal brackets, and you just you know you see. It has, like, you're able to slide up, slide down the brackets 
You know what I'll actually do? I will actually make a template of this and post the measurements um, on my website. I made a video about it so anyone can then measure. You can print out some exact templates and you know see if it'll match up with your black box. But literally, this is what they give you, and you just uh, you know you just attach it to your lights. Um, I know right now the bracket they have is seven and a half inches. It's seven and a half inches. Seven or let me say about seven and a half inches in the space in between the lights, and they said they're going to come out with longer brackets so you can expand that space in between the lights and a shorter one for someone that doesn't have a deep tank, so you can so you can shorten it. So um, I'm pretty sure they're going to come out with something that is going to fit. Um, when they initially released it, I don't think they said it fits the AP700, but people have screwed AP700s into it, so they'll um. They will, I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to, you know, attach a black box into it very soon. Yeah, I saw Billy Pipes tank in, in person yesterday. And let me tell you something, that Korean thing he did, it looks better in person. Like, the video doesn't do it justice. Like, Billy, um, Billy's system is so nice, so clean. Everything is done so well. Like, seeing it on video, I brought my cousin. My little cousin who's in school, um, she's studying like construction. She works on a construction site. She does carpentry, and she was impressed by Billy's, um, you know, entire setup, the way Billy did it. And, you know, Billy, Billy's tank look, it looks like he just took it out of the box yesterday. I, you know, I asked him if he cleaned it. He said, no, I haven't cleaned it in three days. Billy's setup is impeccable. There's nothing. It doesn't look like there was a particle of sand out of place. His setup was so clean. Um, he did on the edges, he did these little strips of wood, painted them black. Um, yeah, Billy's tank, the Corian, um, the Corian stand he built, it looks good in person. I was surprised. I mean, it looks good on video, but it looks better in person. So, yeah, I'm giving Billy a shout out. Um, thank you, Billy. I owe you one. Hey, Dave, what's up, man? Uh, yeah, loving these lights. Still got to do some wire cleanup. Um, let me. Let me, let me see if I can walk in closer. Um, here, here is the side. Sorry. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's literally two exact fixtures, and they just put a bracket that you just screw them. You just screw them on. So you're using Kessels right now? Yeah. Um, the Kessel literally it's a bracket with a hole, and you just drop the Kessel right in. And it's able to hold it in there. Yeah, that's all it is. Just drop in, yeah? Just drops in. Mm, okay. Like I said, the the only the, the biggest thing for me is the lack of um the, my tripod is falling down. Is the fact that is there's no cord management or the cord management is crappy. So at the top of my fixture looks messy because I have the Kessel cable going from the controller to the Kessel. Um, I also have two cables linking the Kessels, and then I have the power cables for the Kessel. So what I am going to do is, um, you know those little clips when you buy an Ecotec? For anyone who's ever bought like the Vortec MP10. Yeah, how like you can attach the cords down the mm -hmm. tank. You can go to Home Depot or somewhere and buy like a bag of those for a few dollars. So I have a bunch of extras. So I'm going to attach them to the back of the fixture. I got the idea from someone on Reef to Reef. This is not my idea. And route the cords that way. So there's only one cord coming out the back. Yeah. Yeah, Billy's lights looks good. Billy, if, yeah, Billy's light, um, you know, that's a version one that Billy did. So version two, probably when he does it, and it's painted black, yeah. And if you put it in a canopy um, with a proper hanging hip, probably, yeah. Billy, Billy's um, setup looks good. The power cord is <laughs> six feet. Ah, oh, terrible. So by the, the the cord on the left that you're looking at, I'm answering Corey Ramsey's question. The cord on the left. By the time you've routed it, so the cord. I'm going. You guys, see my the cord comes right out the top here, right out the, yeah, the fixture. 
So by the time you route the cord, which is probably a foot and a half to the back of the stand, that's a foot and a half. You route it along the back. I'm not, I had, to, I had to use an extension cord to get it down into my cabinet to where my apex is. So the power cord is six feet on both sides. So yeah, that's not cool. That's not cool. Yeah, <laughs> that's not, that, I don't agree with that at all. Um, but you know the fixture is two ninety nine for T fives. I'm not. I wasn't expecting like an ATI an ATI um, hybrid that comes with LEDs like decent, uh, you know, decent LEDs and T fives with cooling and it's like fifty for forty eight inches. It's fifteen sixteen hundred bucks. So you know this is this is two ninety nine. So I wasn't expecting you know. Um, I think you get what you pay for. I think that's the best thing to describe it. You get a good, solid fixture. Um, the reflectors look good. The end caps look good. Um, I don't know anything about ballast and stuff. But, yeah, the six-foot cord and the cord management. The two negatives for me are the six-foot cord and the cord. The fact that the cord comes out of both ends. If the cord had come out of both ends and then there was a decent... Um, Cord management, yeah, that I think those would have probably canceled each other out. But the fact that there's kind of bad cord management, the cord comes out at each end, and then the power cord is short. That's yeah, that's that's bad in my opinion. It's not cool. Um, but um, the, the positives, I, I really like it so far. I am. I'm singing the praises of T5s now. The tank is um. Um, looking good. Uh, yeah, how about T5? I think any any tank I do from now on is gonna be T5 T5 LEDs. It's been three days and I already see some corals um, changing colors. Like the little zoas in the front are now getting that sort of bright fluorescent orange back. Um, Eddie Ramos, what are your tank dimensions? It is. 40, it's it's a European size, so it's 47 inches long by 20 inches front to back by 21 inches high. Um, that extra inch, so so the water is 20 inches, and then that little bezel, that you, so 21 inches high. Um, Pelfrey, how are you running the T5s? Are you running both fixtures on the same schedule? I have the back coming on, I have the front come on an hour before the, the back ones, and then I have the back one comes on, you know, front. they're each running eight hours a day. Um, because I felt like I matched the par, I wasn't, I wasn't too concerned with kind of matching the schedule I had with the Radeon. So the front comes on an hour before the back and turns off an hour before. Uh, because I like the back in the evening. I, I guess because I have the blue plus light in the back, um, let me turn off the front fixture and see if, if it looks different on video. So front T5 off. Um, yeah, because it looks a little bit more blue because that, you know, the back has the blue plus. So uh, yeah, and now the blue from this from the from the Kessels. I have the Kessels on a hundred percent blue. So, and then let me turn off the. Turn back on the front T5 and turn off, turn off the back one. So, okay, guys, I got to go real quick. I might be on later. All right. I'll okay. see you. Okay, see you. Hey, Exclusive. What's up, man? Yo, what's up? All right. Yeah, so um, so I have them on, on, different, um, on different schedules. What's up, Tomer? Yeah, I like the Kessels. I really do like the Kessel Shimmer. <laughs> I do. I like the Kessel Shimmer, but the Kessel Shimmer, um, my wife can't stand it because even um, you know in the morning, the Kessel comes on. You know, like a, a little over an hour before the T fives come on, you see that really, especially when you have the Kessel on all blue. That T five, that Kessel Shimmer, can almost give you a headache. So. I am going to start the schedule early in the morning 
and then you know now that I have the lunar module, I'll run moon. I have the lights turn off, you know, early before we sit down to watch TV, and then just have the moon lights on. Hey Seymour. Yes, sir. Hey, um, <clears throat> with the lights, what I was thinking, and probably what I'm gonna do is, um, that cord that's on the right side of your tank yeah. on the light. What I'm thinking is I'm gonna get those 3M clips which I already got on eBay, um, and put them on the back of the fixture. And then just run the cord on the back of the fixture all the way to the left side and then down. Yes. You're gonna need an extension cord regardless, so that's what I'm probably gonna do. Yeah, I think that'll work. Um, you yeah, know, I'm gonna get some black ones. The only thing is the the um, the glue might start peeling off after time because it is a stick on, and with the heat of the light, it might you know it might just come loose. Yeah, you know, you're right. Um, you can go to Home Depot and pick up. You know, yeah, like the one the Ecotech sends when you buy Ecotech stuff. Those are cheap. You can get a pack of like twenty four, like two or three dollars, at, at yeah. Below. So yeah, I would use those. Um, yeah, the only thing is the ones I got were white, so I'm probably gonna have to spray paint them black or something. It's if, well, it's on the back of the fixture. No one is gonna see it, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, the, you know what? The, the, on the on the left, I think yours. You might not even need a power cable. You might not even need an extension cable because on the left, on the right side, it comes out of the back. And on the right side, it comes out of the front. So, um, you know, you, my cabinet is on the right. So, you know, yeah, you might need a short extension cable. And what I did is, because the extension cable is behind the tank, I just made sure to, like, um, where I plug those two cables together, I seal them up. Um, I put, like, a whole bunch of saran wrap. I put some. I, I did wrap them up real nice and tight to make, you know, if any water splashes behind there, you know, it's not splashing on, like, uh, you know? Um, yeah. Out of sight. So, just yeah. So, so what I did is, um, I stripped the the, the paint off the tank, off the stand, and I repainted. But the wife is still not happy, so I just ordered some uh, wrap. It's like a vinyl wrap that looks like uh, wood, and I'm gonna wrap the whole stand in this and see uh, how it's gonna look afterwards. Uh, all right, all right. You gotta make sure the wife is happy. Yeah, because like you, you know, it's in the middle of the living room, and I can't have a piece of ugly furniture sitting there with scratches. So. And if that don't work, then I'm probably going to sell everything and get a reefer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Anyway, let me go because I'm with my kid at gymnastics. So. All right. I'll hey, Pelfrey. Hey, All right. Hey, Pelfrey. How you doing? I'm going to hit you with a couple questions. Sure. How many lunar lights are you going to put on there, number one? And number two, how do you plan on protecting those bulbs whenever you drop the, the fixture a little bit lower? I don't know. You, the one thing I'm good, I have a fox face that blows water out of the tank. I think I'm going to remove him. He does blow water. So one thing I, I um, it might not, I don't know if it's showing from the video, but I, I put the gyre down lower, a few inches lower in the tank. So there's a little bit less surface agitation. Sure. Um, yeah, listen, I'm reaching for answers, Pelfrey, but the short answer is I don't know. Um, lunar lights, I got the three string. That's definitely, um, that I can answer. The other answer is um, I'm going to change the one fish that I know that blows water out of the tank and shoots water like inches up in the air is the fox. The, See, the, fox. The, way that I, the way that I have my auto top off set up, um, it pumps water directly over the inlet of my return pump. So every time my, my auto top off pumps turns on, it Basically, I'm bubble scrubbing my tank every time unintentionally. So what happens is sometimes the bubbles are big and they, you know, they pop up. And my kessels are pretty high off the tank right now, and the lenses get pretty dirty. So protecting yeah. those T5 bulbs will be a concern of mine. I never, I never, I didn't think about that. I did not think. And, and about you know, and I, you probably can't answer this 100, percent but. Uh, just a ballpark figure. If you had to take a wild guess on how much that thing weighs, the the fixture with the your Kessel lights in there. Um, before the Kessel lights, it's 10, 11 pounds. I weighed it. I weighed so, myself, and then I weighed myself with it, and then I deducted. Um, because you, it comes with a hanging kit, but it doesn't come with the butterfly clips that goes into the ceiling. So when I was going to the hardware store. I had to get butterfly clips that were rated. You know, I got ones that were rated for 60 pounds. Like, I went yep. the board. But, yeah, the fixture weighs a little under, a hair under 11 pounds. So my game plan would be to basically use my 80-20 stand, just raise it up, 
and then buy a crossbar that's about 24 inches because you can adjust the where the hanging kit mounts on the the aquatic life fixture right yeah you move it. yep you can slide it up and down and you can slide them left and right there's the clips come in a little track that you can slide um, mine is a little bit off i want to move it to the left about an inch um because the tank is the tank is actually 47 inches but the fixture is 48 so yeah so yeah you can slide it left and right it does take a little bit of work to slide and get it balanced properly but sure. you can adjust it yeah I, I, since i already have the 80 20 that would be kind of my game plan and then of course i have my neptune auto feeder on top of my light stand so i would probably try to incorporate it in that somehow so here's my order feeder well my order feeder just clips on my tank so there it is so yeah, not a problem. That yeah, yeah. I've always had mine. My my auto feeder used to be on my tank, but if I don't have a screen top on my tank, about every one of my fish would jump out. So, oh, I use a screen top. I just took them off of the video. Did you? What kind of screen top do you have on there with your auto feeder? The BRS one that um I went to Home Depot. Um, uh, oh, you bought some more ends. I'm putting it in front of the clip now. Yeah, the BRS one that I think I forgot the quarter inch quarter inch and it falls right through if I, I every now and again i mix in some flakes pelfrey i'll text you the exact because i bought everything else the corners and stuff from home depot and then the actual netting i bought from brs so i'll email you later with the exact one i bought from brs so this when i feed the food goes through but then um sometimes i crush some um cobalt aquatics flakes some of that might stay on top but the, the pellets I feed um, the, the seaweed pellets and then the mysis pellets from Piscine. So that's what I feed and it goes through. I have no issues with that. See, I, I made my screen top and I made it to fit. I mean, there's barely a gap between my, my screen top and the glass. So that's why my auto feeder's not uh, on the tank. It, I, I may do something like uh, what Devin did at some point and put it in my sump, but right now I have that my return pump running multiple things so it's a later opportunity maybe but it's a nice fixture i really like it yeah i like it um i spoke to De it's funny i talked to Devin about that this week and he came to the same conclusion i use a manifold so you know probably less than half of the pellets are going to make it up to the display tank if i do that yeah i mean i have a cha 1.5 i could use for my reactor and my uh algae scrubber so i have the pump it's never been used but it's just getting in there and doing it but did you did you try that fixture with the, any radions in it the t5s i didn't I took my radio in the middle of taking off my radions i noticed that so behind the tank one of the problems i one of the things i made when i set up this tank is i put the the tank like maybe five inches away from the wall i should have given more so a lot of things i have to squeeze behind the wall um I was going to try it with the radions, but when I took the radions off, the cables, the power cables were sitting directly on, like they were folded up behind, and then the, the power brick was sitting on it, and a couple of them were burned through. Um, so I took them off. I said, no, I'm not messing around with this, and I took them off. Um, let me see if I can, uh, well, yeah, you're, um, I, I can email you a picture, but basically some of these, the exposed wires, the wires are exposed and are showing through the radions. So I said, no, I'm not messing with these. Let me take them off. And, um, you know, because I've had <laughs> electric issues with this power supplies failing left, right, and center. So I took them off and said, no, let me put it aside, contact Ecotech and get this fixed instead of messing around with some, it, it's different when i didn't know it was a problem but now that i know it's a problem i can i ne so i never tried it i wouldn't either it's not a chance that i would take yeah i never tried it but i was always going to go with the kessels um i really do miss that kessel shimmer and even with the t5s is a little bit muted but the, te the with t5s with the kessel shimmer muted it's still better than the ecotech marine it's better than the so shimmer so uh, a couple of questions on the castles. Are you controlling them with any controller and are you, what intensity are you running? If the blues are at a hundred percent. I'm, I'm controlling it with the apex VDM port. Um, it's at a hundred percent blue. 
Uh, I have it ramp up to about 50-50 color a little bit, and then um, it drops back down. Um, it goes up to 50%, like I said, because my wife in the morning, when we're usually getting the kids ready for school, it sure. like doesn't want that all blue because um, the, the Kessel Shimmer is really intense at all blue. So it starts at about 50%, 50-50 um, color mix, but um, it's at 70% intensity and 100% blue for most of the day. I measured par, you know, at where some of the SPS are, and I've matched the exact par of what I was getting before. It looks really good. I, remember, I saw a video on it the other day. I, I don't like how they put the power cords down opposite ends of it, but it is what it is. Yeah, you, you, like, I, you know what it is? It's a, it's, it's a cheap. It's a listen. It's a it's a cheap fixture. But what Aquatic Life did is the exact same fixture, and they just made a bracket to combine them. Yeah, yeah you're just paying for the, the various brackets. Yep, yep. And, and so you don't have to. yeah, you're exactly right. You got it right. You got it right. And then with the 48 inch, you get three Kessel brackets, and um, and three Universal brackets. Um, yeah, all you're paying for is like um, because I think Aquatic Life sells these fixtures separately. Or they had yeah, a I saw I saw them on eBay. They're like sixty or seventy bucks, I think. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, but you know what it is. You will see more manufacturers come out with fixtures like this now. Now that the Aquatic Life, um, you know, now BRS on their website they have the you know where you can see how much is in stock. They had a lot of pre-orders. The day that they started shipping the fixtures, I went on the website and they had a hundred plus of like the twenty-four inch and like sixty of the thirty-six inch, and by the next day everything was sold out. I mean, you know, if you I think you said something about it earlier. If you buy them Kessels brand new, that's eight hundred dollars, and then you got what three hundred dollars wrapped up there, so it's eleven hundred dollars versus buying some other ATI or Giesman or whatever. It's two grand. Mm hmm. 1700 was that well maybe i saw it but the last time i looked at that ati fixture it was 17 for 48 inch yeah and i don't think you know their leds aren't anything special you're mostly paying for like a six bulb t5 you know and it's um you know and the cooling and it's not the ati is not as low profile as this is and um i think brs measured it and they say with a um with the if, if you're putting two to where the um, the aqua illumination lights on it, they're looking at about seven hundred bucks all in with T five LEDs. And what I also like about this fixture, which I've already recommended it to a friend, um, he's starting up a tank, a new in the hobby, and he's going to start with softies. So he's just going to get the T five fixture, and then when he's ready, you know, to like you know experiment with SPS, he'll just buy a fixture and drop it in. So he doesn't have to go all in, you know, seven hundred bucks. Immediately, you can start with, you know, softies and polyps and just use the T5s and then, you know, upgrade later. Do you think if you took one of them castles off the tank and then put one right in the middle, you would get a, a nice shimmer? Or do you think that would offset the balance of the two on there? Um, wait, ask, ask that question again. I think I missed something. Instead of running two castles the way that you have it, if you pulled one off of the tank and just moved one of them to the middle of that fixture... Do you think you would get the shimmer that you're after, or do you think it would would mess with the balance having the two castles situated the way that they are right now? Well, if you give me a minute, we can test it. Do you want to wait a minute? Yeah, I got time. All right. I guess it's easy because them brackets just slide, right? You can just pull the cable out the other one. Yep. Don't break nothing. I'm not responsible for that. All right. So, uh, does it, hmm, does it throw off the balance? I don't think so, but you do see, now that the Kessel's in the middle, the color in this middle looks a little different. Different. Yeah. Looks like you could use three 360s on there. <laughs> um, they, I have another bracket. I'm really I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Put them about, what, 12 inches apart? 
Yeah. 14, something like that. And then run them lower. Lower percentage. Yeah. Um, the, the middle of the tank, which has a little bit of, a, um, you know, I have a soft, I have softies in the, in the middle of the tank. I was thinking of putting that's some prime real estate for, for some SPS. So I, I am seriously considering, um, there's a, there's a guy that's on reef to reef, but he, he makes YouTube videos. He only makes like one a month, but he's got 180 gallon and he took a, uh, like a T5 metal halide fixture from like top dog sellers on eBay, pulled the metal halides out of it. He's got a, it's a 180 gallon tank, but he put three Kessel 360s in it. And um, basically what you have, except it's a bigger fixture. And he really likes it. Yeah. All right. I I like it. I think, what are your, your tank is what, three feet? The 250 is three feet? Yeah, 36 inches, three foot, yep. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, the 36 inch um, will be good for you. And then when, when they have those um, those 160 brackets, I think, I think it, I like it. I really do like it. See, I really feel like my tank would benefit with three 160s or two 360s, personally. Yeah, there's a guy on uh, who has a 250 and grew like a crazy SPS tank, Nathan Williard. Nathan Willard, yeah. Yeah, he sold his tank. I don't think he's on YouTube right now. Um, yeah, got a but, reefer seven fifty now. I think he, he got oh, the seven fifty. Woo! He went big. Yeah, because I think I think he Red Sea sponsors him now. So yeah, so I think he got. Um, yeah, let me not talk for Nathan, but yeah. Um, yeah, I. You know what? Try it with the two. If you're gonna get this fixture, get it and um, get it with the two. And see what happens. Uh, if you can, I know they're going to sell the plates separately soon. If they are going to do it, I would pre-order it, Pelfrey, because um, if if November's run is almost out, and um, December, they've already said, like I, I think Ryan from BRS said, you know, they expect November's to sell out as soon as it comes in. Um, well, I figured worst case scenario, I could use one of them, um, the brackets that you showed earlier that has the multiple mounting points. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many, how many of the, does, uh, does it come with? How many did yours come with? Mine came with three. Well, but, three. Um, you're probably going to get two or one, but if you need one, I could just send it to you. We can talk offline about that. But if you need one, if you, if you want me to just mail you one so you can try it, and if you're not going to use it, you send it back. You know, I'll, I can do that. So you can at least, you know, get an idea if it's going to work or not. I'm sure I could. Uh, my whole light fixture right now is being held on by zip ties. So I got a lot of zip ties. I can use them. <laughs> All right. Hey, let me, Um, I was before, I think before you came on, I said I was going to make a template. So, you know, template of the, of the fixture, like a life, uh, a true to size template with the measurements and sort of, you know, allow people to print them out so they can test, you know, their LEDs to see how it works. I, I can do that. I think Mr. Pelfrey, are you are are you subscribed to me? Oh. Emma? Nope. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know if my subscriptions if I'm visible to those I'm subscribed to. I may have that turned off. Five two eight Jorge is asking, do you need to run all four bulbs? I think you, you can control the two in the back and the two in the front at a time. I don't know. Um, I don't know. See, I just shut off the two in the back. Um, you can't do like one in the front, one in the back. It doesn't work like that. So, um, you know what? I, I, what I should have tried is if it works with only one bulb in each fixture. I don't know if it does. I probably should have tried that. Exclusive, if you're listening, exclusive, can you, since you haven't, um, since you haven't set your tank up yet, can you, you know what, when I'm changing the bulbs, I I'll test that, because I'm going to be getting bulbs on Wednesday, and probably changing the bulb combination, so I'll test that on Wednesday. I don't, I, I suspect it won't, but we'll see. Have you noticed your glass being dirtier or anything with more light? Um, no. No. Probably not with all the coral in there. No, um, my glass. I was expect. You know what? I was experimenting with ozone, 
uh, for the last couple of weeks, which kept my glass clean and my water clear, but I turned it off a few days ago. I think it was completely screwing with the Triton method. So I turned ozone off. Uh, but ozone. I like, yeah, I like, I like what ozone was doing for the tank, but I think I'm going to go with the bubbling. I'm actually going to go to my fish store and pick up um, you know, some wooden air stones now, but I'm going to do bubbling and see if I get some of the same benefits as ozone, but without kind of killing, you know, whatever, whatever. Tri I noticed the Triton method in terms of, you know, some of the parameters I'm measuring. Uh, my skimmer isn't working. In the beginning, my skimmer, everything was fine. But over time, I just think um, I noticed some weird algae and some other stuff. And um, while I've, I've changed the lights recently, I haven't added any new piece of equipment in the last six weeks or so. Um, I know it's like a running joke that I change something every week, but I haven't added new equipment. It's just been the um, the ozone, and I think the ozone. I really do think the ozone is kind of messing with the Triton. It's not recommended. I did ask the Triton guys. They said, no, 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 no. Do not mess with ozone if you're doing Triton because the ozone is just going to kill some bacteria. It's not going to differentiate between the good ones and the bad ones. But I still decided to try it anyway, and so I took it off. Did the ozone keep the gyre cleaner longer, too? No, no, no. This one is due for cleaning now. Um, so I, I'm going to take, take it off today, actually, and swap it with the other one. I like what BRS did. BRS put their two gyres back on. Um, and they did some really custom programming, which you know is convincing me to try my two gyres again. But I don't know, Pelfrey. I like the gyres. I'm not a fan of. Um, coral view support. I'm also not a fan of um, the, how often they need to be cleaned. Gyre's running at 100% now. And this is how you know when it needs to be cleaned, 100%. Uh, if I, when I clean it today, when I put the new one on, I'm probably going to have to turn it down to about 50%. Otherwise, it's going gonna, it's gonna to shoot water all out the tank. That's how much this gyre gets affected by algae. The MP10, the MP40 I have on the left side, you could leave that thing going for. I've seen them running for two years without cleaning, and they still keep going, still working, still pumping along. Yeah, I would recommend this fixer overall. I would definitely recommend this. Um, just, you know, don't expect, don't compare it with a two grand ATI fixture because. That's not what this is. Uh, you know, it's, it's 300 bucks for the 48 inch version and um, you kind of get what you pay for. It's good for what it does. Um, you know, you might have to do a little bit, maybe maybe ATI at that price. It's sort of like when you have a you know cheaper car and you have a Mercedes because you're paying that much money. There's little like little luxury things that you might not think of, but then when you sit in the car, you're gonna be like, hmm, that's nice. That's cool. That's interesting. So, um, yeah, there's maybe things on an ATI fixture that, you know, um, is going to be cool and nice. And this is a little rough around the edges. So just um, just be mindful of that. Hey, I'm going to hop off here, but I do appreciate your input. Thanks for that. All right. No problem. I'm actually about to head off to my LFS now. I just wanted to um, just, you know, show everyone um, the fixture. Um, I gotta, I'm gotta. i going to make, I'm trying to make a video and release it of my first thoughts over the next couple of days. Um, but yeah, I'm going I'm to shut this off in a few minutes. But thanks for jumping on, Pelfrey. It looks really good. All right. Any more questions, um, you know, let me know. All right. What's up, Seymour? Not much, Narcosis. Um, yeah, man. Um, I still haven't hooked up that dose yet. Why not? I'm fucking lazy. <laughs> if I get a new piece of equipment, it doesn't matter what time it is at night. I am connecting that bad boy right then. <laughs> yeah, I haven't, uh, I haven't hooked it up. Well, the biggest thing is I haven't decided whether I want to dose my caulk washer all through the day like I'm doing now or just change it to the night. Um, I did re-put the calcium reactor back on the main display, so. 
A super yellow tank has a question. How you clean your power heads with what? Yes, I clean with, um, I probably do a 50. It depends on how dirty it is. Like in this instance, the gyre isn't that dirty. Um, I just want to clean it before, you know, it really kind of slows down. So I'll probably put one part vinegar, probably 50-50 vinegar. I go to BJ's and I buy the gallon for like a few dollars, a dollar or two. So I'll probably put maybe 25%, one part vinegar, four part water, leave it soaking for a day or two. Uh, if you have, if you have to remove the rubber parts, because if you leave the rubber parts, anything rubber soaking in vinegar for that long, it's going to totally destroy it. So I take the rubber parts off. Anything rubber parts, I take it off, but I leave like the plastic soaking for maybe overnight. And then it should loosen up the coralline algae where just a little brush, um, you know, takes that off. So yeah, white vinegar, I, pr I pretty much use white vinegar to clean anything, anything with coralline algae. Narcosis, man, get that dose on the tank. Um, I like it. I can't believe you have equipment sitting for three days now, two days now, and you haven't put it on. Anything new I get, man, like immediately. Immediately. Hey, Dr. Welsh, did you, uh, did you, are you still there, Dr. Welsh? How you doing? Um, he said he's had so much going on. Two daughters, 18th birthdays, a 16th birthday, a weekend in Amsterdam. And now X is approaching fast. Uh, Super Yellow Tang. Hey, Super Yellow Tang, are you in, uh, you in, are you, I don't remember, are you Scouse? Are you in Liverpool? Or you're, Man or you're in Manchester? I, I don't remember. Yeah, um, Narco, I think I, I just saw your question in the chat where it says, close off your par. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, the one, the one in the fixture, the one Kessel in the, in the center is not, um, yeah, it's not ideal coverage. If you had maybe an AP 700, it would probably be ideal, but one Kessel in the middle, uh, yeah, not ideal. The color, it looks, because the, uh, towards the edges, it only has the T5 coverage, and then the center has the, you know, the, 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 um, the Kessel sort of mixed in, it looks a little bit weird. And uh, for all of you thinking of linking two Kessels together, any regular headphone cable, the, the link cable that you buy from Apex or you buy on Bulk Reef, that, um, that, you know, they sell for 20 bucks, you can use any regular headphone cables. Um, so I basically had, like, some headphone cables laying around that I used to, like, link the Kessels together. You can get them for, like, two or three bucks at Radio Shack or some other... You know, anywhere that sells audio equipment, it's just a few dollars. So you can save a few. This, this hobby is is expensive, that is. If there's any way to save $15 by buying it from Radio Shack or Best Buy instead of you know, paying 20 bucks, um, it's a chance to save some money. All right, Narcosis, I'm, I, I got to shut this down because I, I got to he, um, head on to my LFS to um, – I got some supplies I need to pick up. Um, just wanted to give everybody a quick, you know, look at the video, look at the, um, the fixture. I will try to shoot like an official video and release it sometimes this week. But uh, I will be off for a few hours. But um, Narcosis, if you do a stream, I'll join it for mobile. But um, I really got to shut this down and get going. So thank you, everyone. And I will talk to you guys later. Oh, Super Yellow, you're in Worcestershire. Worcest, Worcestershire, Worcestershire, yeah. Not far from Manchester. All right, might as well be Manchester. All right, um, Super Yellow Tang. Um, thanks, everyone. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Pelfrey, for joining. Thank you, Narcosis. Um, Narcosis, subscribe to Narcosis. Uh, he's looking for subs. Um, I still have my uh, um, 1,000 sub contest going on. You can win a Powerhead. It's a Gyre MP10 or a Tunzi. So that video is on my channel. Check it out. And thanks, everyone, for joining. And I'll talk to you guys later.